My name is John. I'm Mexican American. Knoxville is my home, and this is my success story. I consider myself to be a good representative of what the melting pot of America has to offer. So I'm a Mexican kid, right? Born in Mexico. Uh, I played football. I was a three uh, three year letterman at West. I did track sports that like a lot of Latinos don't partake in. And I, I wasn't being the kicker or anything, you know what I mean? I wasn't just cause like I'm Mexican, I'm a kick the ball. No, I was playing safety. I was like in there. Um, I'm, a, I try to, I'm trying to be an entrepreneur. Well, I am an entrepreneur. I'm not trying to be, I am an entrepreneur. I, I just, I feel like I'm, I don't know, I'm living the American dream. Like this is the best country in the world. This, like, I, I've been, my family's been able to take care of me. Like I've always had a roof over my head. I was, I've ate three square meals a day, you know, since, since I can remember. And I'm in college, you know, there's a lot of kids that don't even get the opportunity that are born in the States, you know? So like, I think I believe I'm of the, the Mexican, like the American dream. And like, um, I can't really, I can't really like complain about my life. I think I live an amazing life. I'm from a little town uh, of the state of Hidalgo from Me in Mexico uh, named Metzacban. And uh, I came here when I was two. Came through Arizona and been here in Knoxville all my, basically all my life. I'd say the hardest thing about going to living in East Tennessee is at times uh, you don't know uh, where people really stand about who you are as an individual. Like uh, there's a lot of facades that be like people just put on a smile and like deep down inside they might not like like who you are just as, like just because of like the basis of who you really are like you know what I mean like talking about ethnicity race and whatnot after graduating um there was a lot of uh, uncertainty about what I was going to end up doing um I knew I wanted to go to school or like continue like my education some way somehow uh I didn't want to like kind of put my parents in a position where like it'd be like a lot of money spent on these four years so I kind of had, uh, I was kind of limited in that way, even though they, they, they assured me that it was gonna be okay, whatever I wanted to do, like it, it would be done. But I wasn't trying to be selfish, cause of course, like I said, I'm uh, the head of uh, four boys. So there's a lot more calls to come. I was just thinking, where am I gonna go? What are my options? And um, I was blessed with Maryville College giving me all the opportunity to come here. So my plans for the future are, uh, I'm an international business student right at the moment. I'm hoping to uh, figure out what I want to minor in or maybe even double major in, whatever, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something else. I have some businesses at the moment that I'm like uh, hustling between. So I sell ice cream on the weekends and uh, I push carts and then I uh, have a clothing brand. And so I'm gonna continue on with the clothing brand throughout my four years, develop it, how's it goes. And like, uh, after I graduate, we'll see what like, where I stand with it, like how big it's gone, like thing, like how the growth that's undergone, and like do I see myself doing the continuing this on? The DACA is what's keeping me here, and uh, it's, it was a blessing, honestly. And um, I really don't think about like uh, what can happen to DACA. It's I don't think I don't I don't live in fear, like as per se. Uh, I, I'm kind of just enjoying myself. Uh, they gave me the opportunity to feel like I'm normal in the in the states and like uh, welcome in a way. So I'm just enjoying it. Uh, when November comes and once the decision is made, like uh, that's beyond me, you know. Like that's up to the politicians and whatnot. But I really don't think about like I don't I live in fear or anything. I, I feel like everything's gonna be fine. Uh, they know what we're valued at. Like they see what we're gonna be able to do for for not just us, but like future generations and the great, like the greater good for the nation.